Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a review comparing two foundations. The first one is actually my Holy Grail foundation, the Gressa Minimalist Corrective Serum Foundation, which I've been using for years. And I also decided to share my thoughts on the new kit in town, which is the Cosas Tinted Face Oil. I picked a great week for testing the, the products because it was during that time of the month and I usually have a couple of breakouts as you can see. So this will show you the coverage capacities of both products. At first glance they look similar but I realized that there are quite a couple of differences which I'm excited to share in this video. So to help you see the difference I would put Gressa on my left side and Cosas on my right side. Gressa's 2.5 shade um, is suitable for medium skin tone but has a neutral undertone whereas uh, Cosas number 4 is light medium with a yellow undertone. Now before I start with the review a couple more infos about the products and their formula. Both share the same philosophy which is makeup mid skincare. It's the tinted face oil is described as a featherweight medium coverage foundation and deeply hydrating skin elixir. Three types of mineral pigment are delivered in the base of six active botanical oils to instantly even skin tone, minimize pores and erase imperfections. Designed to be as easily applied as daily serum or moisturizer, the breathable silky formless oil are quickly absorbed by the skin, leaving behind a perfecting layer of self-adjusting color with a velvety finish, no blending required. With 10 second application, imperceptible all day wear and true nourishment, it is the new definition of the flawless face. When it comes to the ingredients, Cosas has a well-rounded formula. Um, the base is jojoba seed oil, which is non-comedogenic. Uh, rice bran extract, which is known for its deep moisturizing capability. Um, it's rich in vitamin E and fatty acids. Not so suitable for oily skin because it's rich in linoleum acid. Rosemary um, has a lot of anti-inflammatory properties and has natural antiseptic properties. Uh, raspberry seed oil is also a fantastic oil um, to, bo it's a, to boost antioxidants, use acne, block UV, but it doesn't replace um, sunscreen. And it naturally moisturizes the skin. Kaolin uh, absorbs excess oil and detoxifies. And you have mica, which is for the illuminating and light reflecting um, particles. Now onto the description for Gressa. On the website, it's described as a serum, a foundation, a revolution. The fluid to velvet formula delivers a veil of weightless coverage like nothing you've ever seen. Raw mineral pigments are combined with the Gressa Healing Complex or proprietary blend of botanical extracts for overall balance, radiance and clarity with a buildable flawless finish. Gressa's Healing Complex is a powerhouse blend of carefully selected botanical extracts that care for your skin by providing it with overall balance, radiance, and clarity. Minerals provide a tone correcting coverage, natural finish. Now, Gressa's formula is different from Cosas. The base is broccoli seed oil, which is a potent antioxidant, a hydrating rich in essential fatty acids, and also a source of vitamin C and A, and a natural source of retinol. Uh, it is known for soothing inflammatory skin conditions. And um, then we have bitter melon, which is said to provide glowing skin and is also beneficial against acne. Coenzyme Q10, which is a natural source of silica, uh, required by the body for supple and healthy skin. Then we have barberry, a soothing and acne inhibiting ingredient. Neem, which is also an amazing ingredient to, uh, for acne prone skin, which helps clearing acne, fading scars, pigmentation and blackheads. Then we have horsetail, which is a skin purifying ingredient. Lemon balm uh, has antibacterial and antiviral properties, reduces redness and itching from infections. Elderflower, it's purifying and wound healing and is also used to fade skin blemishes. And finally, licorice root, which improves skill cell regeneration, has also strong anti-inflammatory properties and also regulates oil production. Okay, starting off with Gressa. So the application for Gressa was with a brush, fingers and makeup sponge. I enjoy using a makeup sponge to give a particular even finish. 
Uh, some people with dry skin were not getting on with the serum foundation as it can leave some dry patches, but I recommend mixing the foundation with a couple of drops of, of um, face oil directly and it really gives a dewy finish and feels hydrating all day long. Uh, for oily skin I feel like it stays on really well and doesn't slide off. Okay, so this is a footage of me trying the product for the first time. Um, and you will see that I was a bit taken aback because this is really a unique product. So it is very liquidy. And um, I realized later on that I didn't apply enough. And also, it is best to really massage the product in. I went really too, too light. And I just used my fingers in it. Also, since I didn't properly blend in, there is actually a darker spot in the middle of my cheeks. So it looks more yellow. And here I am trying to save my face by applying a couple more drops of Cosas. But yeah, um, at that time I was not too impressed. But you will see later on after a couple of days of um, testing that I got the grip of it and I learned to appreciate the product. But at this moment right now I'm not too impressed. I find it quite difficult to blend. it Because it, it just absorbs instantly so you have to be really quick. Which is why it, uh, that little finger dabbing is really not working. Okay, and this is the finished look. As you can see, it doesn't fully cover the, the bigger spots, but it does even out the skin tone a little bit. Uh, and then on the other side, you have Gressa. I did a full review of Gressa a couple of years ago, so I will put the link in the description box below so you can see uh, how it covers um, cheek acne. Um, I, I've put a before and after picture. I'm actually quite happy because I I realized that the um, Kazas Tinted Oil um, absorbed and so you don't really see the yellow stain that much. Um, my skin, I feel like my skin still looks dewy and, and, and I mean, not obviously not completely even, but it is I, I can see there were there's still some coverage I, I can definitely see it especially off camera uh, and yes it's holding up but the rest of it holds up really well so I'm not too there were a couple of dry patches so but it's because usually I mix it with an oil directly um, so I don't have that problem and of course on the other side well do you see the spots peeking through but I do like how hydrated my skin still. Okay, so here are my final thoughts of Cosas after testing it and using it for a couple of days and playing around. So, when it comes to blending, you really have to apply it um, the same way you would um, use a face oil or a moisturizer. So, being more vigorous and use your the palm of your hands to properly massage the product in. I found it to be the best way to have an even finish. And as you can see in the picture, it does look better than the previous footage of me using it for the first time. Because as used the adequate terminology, it is a tint, but I wouldn't call it a foundation per se. Um, it feels super breathable, it's weightless, um, almost feel like, like a thin veil, but you can't really buy it for the coverage. It has, however, it has an amazing blurring effect and pores do appear less visible. Um, another great point is that it looks imperceptible when you get a close up. It really blends with your skin for a my skin but better look. This is definitely the product for a no makeup, makeup kind of look. It looks very natural and my favorite part was that it also doesn't aggravate skin condition. I had a couple of breakouts prior to testing it and it did not hinder the healing process. Um, I figured out that if you want to achieve a medium coverage you really have to add a couple of drops but at, but I feel like you would use up the product very quickly if you're really insisting on having a medium coverage. 
it is definitely fluid and liquidy and instantly absorbs onto the skin but I really like it because it's also an invitation to embrace your natural beauty and love your skin instead of hiding behind a foundation mask. Now I do have a tip if you really want to have coverage um, you can use a concealer uh, for instance the Cosas shade 04 pairs very well with the Hint concealer in shade medium it's a great match so the um, because Cosas is Fazolite so you can add more coverage with a concealer without making it look cakey and I use that combo and it works really really well now I want to address the differences between Gressa and Cosas so those are of, of course my impressions I feel like Gressa is uh, more suitable for normal to oily skin whereas Gressa would also be um, sorry Cosas would also be more suitable for dry skin because it is so oily and and um, and nourishing uh, with Gressa a couple of drops go a long way uh, whereas with Cosas you have more chances of using up the products the product quickly especially in the beginning uh, when you're testing and trying different coverage options such as me um, for Gressa the coverage is great for me it is medium to high uh, for Cosas I would say light to medium at best uh, for Gressa the finish feels shinier and dewier Cosas does feel a little more matte uh, while it is always best to get the closest match for your skin, I feel like it is even more crucial for Cosas as it instantly absorbs and stays on. Um, you even saw it at the beginning of the video when I first applied it. I did not blend it properly and I had a darker patch on my cheeks. It is really key to massage the tinted oil directly all over the face. Uh, Gressa has this oil to powder finish, whereas Cosas has a blurring effect with, where the pores look less visible up close. Gressa can set into fine lines, but I would recommend to mix it with the face oil directly. That actually solved the issue for me. Uh, with Cosas, you also have to be careful with the, the um, dispenser. It leaks product quite easily because the tinted oil is very liquid and fluid, or almost watery. Uh, when it comes to the applications, everything works with Gressa, sponge, uh, flat brushes, fingers, and with Cosas, it remains best to massage the product like you would with a face oil. Now let's talk about the similarities. Both are weightless, both do not aggravate the skin and are infused with nurturing and healing ingredients. Both will please people who are not keen on wearing foundation because they really reinvent the way we see foundation. It is really about letting your skin breathe and embrace your natural beauty. Um, bottom line, I really like both. Gressa remains, uh, so to speak, my holy grail because it is it feels more adequate for oily acne prone skin and provides that solid coverage whenever I need it. However, with Cosas, I have come to fully enjoy it as a tinted oil for my skin, for that skin but better look. It really looks imperceptible and super natural and it makes my skin more even and less textured. And like I said before, it pairs up wonderfully with Hint so I can actually cover all my blemishes and redness if I use Cosas as a base and add Hint when needed. Both are innovative on their own. Way back when Gressa first launched, there were very little options for lightweight foundations, especially for oily and blemish prone skin. And Cosas has come up with this innovative product that definitely fits within its minimalistic, fresh, easy breezy aesthetic. And so I highly recommend both depending on your needs. And that's about it. I hope that this review is somewhat useful to some of you. Uh, let me know your thoughts. I look forward to hearing them. And that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Bye!